Hello, good afternoon. You're with me, Dawn Neeson, covering for Nana Akoya on GB News, on TV and on digital radio. Well, it's nearly here. The big day where history could be made. No, not the football, silly. But tomorrow's a grand final of I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. Because for the first time in the programme's 20-year history, one of the venomous, creepy-crawly nasties could be crowned winner instead of an actual human being. Let's give this bottom-feeding, bottom-groping creature a name, shall we? Um, how about, ooh, I don't know, Hancock? Uh, because incredibly, after three weeks, 12 contestants and thousands of public votes, former Health Secretary Matt Hancock has made it through to the final four. Oh, come on, people, how is this even a thing? A man with a baby's face and a laugh so nerve-shreddy it makes fingers down a blackboard sound like a relaxation tape even if the fingers in question are owned by Edward Scissorhands. And there are viewers have been won over by this. I mean, really? More of you have voted for this creature to eat anus than voted to elect Rishi Sunak PM. What an insane country we have become with very short memories. How does munching a kangaroo's willy, I said willy live on Tilly, and cleaning a camp dunny make Hancock's COVID pandemic behaviour excusable. As health secretary, he was responsible for sending elderly hospital patients with COVID back to care homes. 32,154 of them died, alone and terrified because loved ones were banned from saying goodbye. And as if that wasn't quite bad enough, he also barred families from attending the subsequent funerals. How can any of us forget the awful sight of that son being physically dragged away from confronting his sobbing mum at his dad's crematorium service? I know I can't. Then there's the dodgy PPE deals. He oversaw that, remember, too. A subject that's only recently reared its ugly head again, with Tory peer Michelle Moan being investigated for a, checks notes, £200 million contract that saw £25 million of taxpayers' money mysteriously end up in her family's offshore trust. Matt Hancock created the VIP PPE lane that allowed this to happen. He also, by the way, awarded a contract to the landlord of his local pub, ironically called the Cock Inn. Ah, which brings us very neatly to Slug Boy's mistress. An affair exposed by a video so nasty most of us will be in therapy for years. It's not just the horrific teenage level of heavy petting and snogging the married dad of three inflicted on us, though, is it? It's the fact that he was breaking every damn one of the nonsensical lockdown rules he inflicted on us. Look, of course, he wasn't alone. His defence will always be that he was following the science. Science dictated by the Brothers Grimm, Chief Medical Officer Chris Whitty and Chief Scientific Advisor Patrick Valance. Remember them? Uh, but never forget, those two were told to come up with the worst case scenario by the then Health Secretary one... Matt Hancock. Uh, neither he nor Boris Johnson had to do any of what the science said. They were the blokes in charge of the asylum. But they were so intent on looking after their own backsides, they didn't care about imprisoning us in our own homes, shutting down the economy for two years, or turning the NHS into the National Covid Service. Now, well, that's coming home to roost, though, isn't it? Thousands more condemned to death with undiagnosed cancer and heart disease, highest taxes for 70 years, kids' education ruined, and millions with mental health issues they'll never recover from. And now this man is prime time entertainment. Women are even confessing to fancying him. I mean, girls, come on. Look, God give me strength. Bookies say Hancock will be out of the jungle tonight with the only female left, that's Lioness Jill Scott, come on, girl, uh, favourite to win Sunday's final. Hancock himself says he went on to the show to promote dyslexia and demonstrate that politicians are just ordinary people like the rest of us. Well, unless it's been very carefully edited, he's mentioned dyslexia precisely once. As with everything Hancock does, this is all about him. He wants to be that celebrity. Swallowing the crud he's had in his gob for the past three weeks is nothing compared to what he expects us to swallow. And shockingly, we have. Hancock's fee is £400,000. Money for old rope. Or should that be money for old grope?